Hey everybody, Chris the Cop here. Welcome back and thanks for watching. We're gonna play our second scenario on SWAT 4. Thank you to all those SWAT 4 enthusiasts and professionals. Your comments have been greatly appreciated. I will be adding the mod that you're speaking of, but I decided that I wanted to play the vanilla version first to get my taste of the original SWAT 4 game. And after that, we'll add the mod and see what differences, which I hear are awesome, um, that I will be playing with. Uh, so let's get to the next mission. Um, I'm actually going to be heading to work after I play this mission. So uh, kind of uh, kind of cool, right? Got to go play Cops and Robbers for real after uh, playing Cops and Robbers in a video game. Playing our career mode. And our next one is the Fairfax Residence. So let's get our briefing. Central BCC to Adam Boy and Truck 1 on TAC 1. You won. Go ahead. You won. SWAT is needed for high risk arrest warrant service and possible hostage rescue at 25 Glendive Lane, Bronx. Detective 39 Adam requests you respond quickly but without lights and sirens. Suspect is wanted on multiple homicide and kidnapping charges. Suspect is a potential serial offender, likely to have a hostage victim inside. Suspect is believed to be mentally unstable. Expect erratic and dangerous behavior. You won, Roger. Show us en route. ETA, driving time. Get ready, men. This is a tough one. Our target, Lawrence Fairfax, is the number one suspect in a string of grisly homicides. A bit of review. Over the last year and a half, seven women, all of them studying at the State University, disappeared. Their remains, showing signs of torture and dismemberment, reappeared anywhere from a week to three weeks later. The killer was careful. The task force forensic team was unable to get a useful DNA match from any of the bodies. That changed with the most recent find. Another victim was located earlier this morning by a local laborer. Some of the DNA scrapings from her nails match one of the men being investigated by the task force, Lawrence Fairfax. There's a complication. Another student, Melinda Klein, went missing sometime around 2000 on October 18th. That was six days ago. If Fairfax has her, and if he's following the profile, chances are good she's still alive. Rescuing her is your first priority, which is why we're going in with no warning. About our suspect, Fairfax is employed as a temporary carpenter and works off and on at the university. No police record but court records show a pair of expired restraining orders against him. He's been suspended from a recent job site for stealing supplies. Fairfax's co-workers don't say much about him. He keeps to himself. He's been at the law library multiple times, most notably on the days before the disappearance of three of our victims, including Melinda Klein. A police interview with him was inconclusive, but the detective responsible did acquire a DNA sample from a used tissue. Fairfax was seeing a psychiatrist when he was laid off. We've been unable to access his records. The psych warned us that Fairfax may have fortified his living areas. Be alert for traps, especially dog, in spaces guys. only Fairfax uses. He lives with his mother, Gladys Fairfax. She's a recluse, and due to health problems, rarely leaves the house. We don't have reason to believe she's involved, but stay on your toes. Fellas, Seconds may be the difference between life and death for Melinda Klein. Study the layout, choose your gear, and get moving. Okay, so this is going to be an HRT, a hostage rescue. Um, we have, in this type of scenario, you technically have two ways you can handle it. You can do a surrounding call out, but this is going to be an actual hostage rescue, which means it's going to be a dynamic entry. And the reason why is they're saying that he could possibly kill the... Uh, victim inside and we need to get in there and get in fast as opposed to maybe a person who runs into a residence barricades them and there's people inside the residence well yes though there's still a threat we would have to do a workup and call in CNT to negotiate with them and then eventually if we felt negotiations were breaking down then we would do an HRT so in this particular they're doing an HRT I understand it I don't know if that would be our method of doing this. I kind of maybe think so, but I have I need more information than what was just given. So let's take a look at the layout. 
So we got uh, level one, side three here, that's uh, going into the entry right here, okay? And then side two is a back door, level zero. All right, so we go into the front door, we're gonna have to immediately go up some stairs, it looks like, or we're presented with some stairs. Got the living room, kitchen, back door, bedroom. So on this, I would have a team back here. Uh, we'd actually, this entire place would be surrounded. And even if he ran out, he's not going anywhere. He's gonna run into the perimeter. So, all right, let's see. The house is a second, is a two bedroom, one bath split level residence. Many of the houses in the neighborhood are of this same type. Our layout is based on neighboring houses of the same style and should be accurate for level one. So we don't have level two. The basement level of these houses are usually custom and may be or may not be finished. Information is speculative regarding the basement. Um, since he said he's living with his mom, um, I'm going to assume that he's probably living in the basement. I could be wrong though. All right. Okay, there's our suspect. Okay. All right, let's do this. Well. He's a murder suspect, so uh, we do have our typical less lethal, so we're good there. Um, yeah, let's just go with our regular stuff. All right, here we go. I'm a little nervous. Three nine, Adam. This is Central BCC. Adam Boy and Truck One responding to twenty five Glendive Lane for high risk warrant service. Okay, so we're obviously going to have two entries, so I'm going to keep red team to cover. Red, two. go there. Copy, on the move. And we're going to have them cover. Cover that. In position. Okay. Blue team, fall in. Blue, fall in. Understood, following. With you. Open and clear. Move when ready. On it. Alright, see? Doors locked. Confirm breach. Alright. Open and clear. Go when ready. Time to move! Oh, Talk. Did something happen? We're in the Suspect forward! Oh, Roger that. Clear. Proceed with Area caution. Clear. That's right, Lisa. According to police, another female body was discovered this morning. It is Entry believed team that this to young talk. woman we have is a suspect also a victim down. of the so-called Roger. Keep it nature. up. According to our sources, the police are completely stumped and have oh, no shit. leads at this time. What the heck? Okay, so now we still have Grandma inside and our host or our victim hostage. Um. So I'm going to leave them here, and I am going to go back up top with the other team. Let them secure that so that way we can actually uh, hold that. So we're going to go in now through here. Red team, open and clear. Move when ready. I'm on it, boss. Still don't know if we have more victims. Sir, or it's or locked. How suspects. should we proceed? possibly have another suspect, so. Okay, that was interesting. Get her open and clear it. Let's go. Move it! Go, go, go! Clear so far. Room clear. Keep it going. Clear! Okay, let's go. Okay, left. Cover the walls. We have that doorway right there, but looking, judging by the way the house is, that doorway probably goes right into that room, so I'm gonna have these guys fall in with me. Regroup. Be ready to move. Got it. Falling in. We're with you. What is that smell? Um, well, that's not good. I would just like to say. Um, so I imagine our that, team is somewhere if you can down hear me, here. Honey, I love you very much. And I'd like open. to say to whoever took her, I beg you. Okay, there's please. that kitchen. Please. See, so we would have two two man elements working our way down here, opening up these doors because we have those two doors on the left. So these guys that can open that, and I'll Melinda cover Klein, block for them. An apparent victim of the so-called. So we'll turn around. 
Open it. Go when ready. Copy, boss. Where's our other guy at? Did you get stuck? We didn't lose anybody, did we? What the heck? Come on, dude. Put your hands up and get down! Come on. Get in and clear. Let's get in there, guys. Stay with me. I'm on point. Come on. Got your back, boss. Keep clearing. Let's move. Regroup and stand by to move. With you. Oh my gosh, AI is stuck. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to this again. Get in there and clear. Jack, on it. Move it, guys! Police! On How the floor! Dare you Moving, come get in down here. and put your hands up. Oh, Do it! Show me your hands! Everybody no, down! No she won't right get down! To come in here. Out of my house, you! Get the taser out. Taser out. <gasps> oh, my heart! Police! Get down! <gasps> taser doesn't affect the heart. Civilian is system. compliant. Oh, my heart can't take this. Wait your turn. Just a bunch of thugs. Entry team to talk. Civilian ready to evacuate. Okay. Roger. We'll come in when it's clear. All right. Uh, fall fall in. in and stay close. I'll take point. On my way. With you, sir. Regroup. What the heck? Oh, At shit. your back, sir. Okay. Where's the gun? There it is. Need you to Talk. move. This is entry team. We have a dead suspect. You're in my spot, Copy. sir. Copy. Continue okay. mission. Okay, let's go. Let's make it check this corner. Nothing in it. Okay. Holy crap. Got one more door. Get through there. Go. Check. Talk to Sierra Let's 1. Go. Element Keep spotted. Keep it smooth. Keep it going. Okay. Reynolds, area clear. Gerard, it's clear. Alright. We're going downstairs. And we know our team is there, so... Blue team, prep a bang. Open and clear. Stack up and check the lock. Open and clear. Go when ready. Time to move! No visible threats. Moving forward. Room clear. Fields. It. Creepy basement. Check. Creepy rat cages. Check. Gold. Behind me. Okay, we still have some people to search for. Right, On your so. six. I don't feel good about Red. this. Red. Not one Open and clear. Bit. Move when ready. On it, sir. Got surveillance cameras. Blue team. Maybe with you. Surveillance cameras. Shit. Yep. Let's get in there, guys. Ah. So far, so Gerard, good. Gerard, clear. Moving on. In All position, right. clear. Go when ready. Let's move. Area clear. Okay, it's clear. This is disgusting. Done. Gerard, it's clear. Tapes. Wow. It's clear. 
tapes or books? Alright, we got still people to find. Fall in. Got it. Falling in. Got someone. Got Talk, someone. this is entry team. We found an unidentified female. Get down! Hands in the air! Holy shit. Talk, this is entry team. I have an injured civilian ready to evacuate. Copy. EMT standing by. Got your back, boss. Police, on your knees! Move and clear. Go when ready. Let's go. Keep it smooth. In position. Gotta move away from there. Field drop. Clear. clear. Reynolds, I'm okay. clear. Is it a door? Thank God. Get down! You found me. Cuffer. Check. On it. Don't worry, I've got you. Oh, Doc God. Entry team. Thank you. Check this accomplished. is accomplished. Entry team to talk. Talk. Need you to we move. Found Good work, guys. Let's oh, head for home. Wow. Seven out of a hundred. What did I miss? Suspects arrested. And suspects incapacitated. I guess I was supposed to try to arrest the guys, people with guns. My ranking's a reserve officer. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay, just goes to show you, right? So, um, a couple things. Um, with the mom who was actively resisting, uh, not a big fan of using a taser on her. I think you can go ahead and, uh, use a control hole to get her down um but i mean if worse comes to worse you could use gas or a taser but once again in this situation what i was looking at i probably would just done a control hold on her and put her in cuffs at that point in time um obviously so in this scenario we had two choices now usually if you have these like two story you could uh you know you have to choose a floor that you're going to uh search and then you either go from the top down or the bottom up and as you guys can see, the way I did it was I split the team up, having the team hold one area while clearing the other team. Not really realistic as far as the amount of officers. I have at least 12 to 15 officers at my disposal to be able to clear a house like this and do a complete where we can work from different, um, different entry points. So the team leader would take one set of officers, the ATL would take another set of officers, and then eventually somewhere they're gonna meet and then they'll have that blue and blue scenario where they all, they all run in together and then they would reevaluate and complete the mission together. Um, so with this, uh, we didn't know we had a secondary suspect, but he came at us with a gun. I don't know, obviously here it sounds, it looks like I was supposed to incapacitate him, but you got a person with a gun, you have a murder suspect, is the, all these scenarios. So, when we talk use of force, these are all the things we have to take into account as an officer. We have, you know, the the we're on a uh, we're on a homicide investigation. We have a H, uh, HRT scenario where we have a hostage rescue going on, and we are presented with people with guns. Uh, yeah, you know what? I guess I could press the F button, telling them to get down right away, and I guess that's where I screwed up on this, and hence the reason why I only have a seventy. So I'm curious. I'm gonna I want to replay this scenario and try to remember to use the uh, verbal commands because in reality yes you would say get down get down get down even if they were starting to raise their gun you would still be giving your commands hopefully for them to uh to think about that and give up but like i said we met the guy with the shotgun took him out and then we met the other guy with the gun who uh i think he i can't remember now i'd have to actually watch the video if he was in a shooting position or not but obviously, uh, I scored low on that, um, and that was what the game was looking for. So just kind of interesting. Uh, in real life, like I said, though, you're you're always giving commands. It's not a keyboard where I got to find the button to give commands. So that's kind of a delay, and I see the gun coming up, so I'm just going to neutralize them that way. Um, but once again, I'm going to try again. I'm going to play again. AI is kind of screwing up a little bit, getting hung up on a chair or whatever. Uh, but like I said. Uh, We'd have more officers. I don't know where this five element team comes in. Maybe it's just the game. But uh, so that's it. 
Hey, this is uh, Chris the Cop. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And can't wait for Mission 3. Maybe I'll do a redo of Mission 2 and upload that. You just never know. Thanks again, guys.